Have you ever wanted to take a word or a sentence and turn it into a shape? Now you can do that with Craft Artist using the text on path feature. A path can either be a shape or it can be something that you draw using either the pen tool or the pencil tool. Let's start with the shape button. I'm going to go to the top of the page and I'm going to left click on the shapes button and I'm just going to pick this shape over here which is called the quick wave and what I want to do is over here you'll notice that there are no point size selected. So I'm going to drop down by clicking on this little arrow pointing down and I'm going to select 1.0 as my point size. This will actually make my line a little bit thicker. The next thing I want to do is to the left of that there's a button called color just left click on it once and you want to go right into this corner over here and just left click once so that you select a dark color and click on OK. And what this does, it's going to color your line black and it's going to give it a thickness of 1.0 so you can see it as you draw it. So all you need to do is hold down your left mouse button and just drag. When you're finished, all you need to do is go to your text button. Click on text once and if I move my mouse down a little bit, you're going to see I have a plus sign and the letter A. But as soon as I come close to the edge of this, the plus sign and the letter A will disappear and in its place I now have a little squiggly line. That tells me that I'm right on the spot where I can start typing. Now before you start typing, if you wanted to, you could go over here and you could increase the point size of your font to something else. I'm going to select 18. You could also go over here, you could pull down this little arrow and you could select the font that you'd like to use. Another thing that you can do is click on this once to select it and either using the wheel on your mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard you can cycle through. You can do the exact same thing by clicking on here and cycling through to a different font size. When you're ready to start typing all you need to do is type whatever you'd like to say. When you're finished typing you can click on select and what you're going to notice is that your words or your sentence are going to replace your shaped line. Now if you wanted to change this again while this is still selected, you can easily go over here and you can change the font to something completely different. You can also go back over here and you can increase the font size or decrease the font size. If you wanted to, you could click on edit points and you'll notice that there are these little boxes. These are actually the nodes. So if you wanted to, you could push them a little bit in a different direction, perhaps up. Perhaps you want to click on these and angle them a bit more so you have full control over how you want this to be. Click off of your image and your words are now on your shape. So you've applied a text on path. I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to delete it. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to achieve the same thing but using the pen tool. So you may come across an image that you actually like to draw around. For example, let's just take this chair. Perhaps you want to say some words that go around this chair, but if you try to click on text and then apply it, it's not going to apply to this chair. So a way around that is to click on the pen tool and then all you basically do is you click once at the beginning of where you'd like to write and you're going to basically draw around this area. So click again, let go, click, let go, and just do this around the entire image until you get the shape that you'd like. When you're finished, just double click and what that's going to do is turn off that area. Click on my text button and all you're going to do is go over here until you see the squiggly line and then start writing something. When you're finished writing, you're going to also notice that there is a little arrow right here and there's an arrow right over here as well. These arrows are there because the open line has no connection. So the end of this line is not connected to this one. If it were connected, you'd only see one arrow. By holding down your left mouse button on this arrow, you can actually drag these words around until they get to the end of the line. By using the opposite arrow, you can do the same thing. You can drag the words a little bit back, or you can move them back to where they were. You'll notice instantly that the line that I drew around here with the pen tool has disappeared and in its place these letters are now taking form of this shape. So what I'd like to do now is maybe just play around with the fonts again. So I'm going to click here to select this area so it's highlighted in blue and using either the up and down keys on my keyboard or the wheel on my mouse I can make this much larger so that I can see it better. I can also go over here again and either I can pull this down and select the font that I want to use or I can click on this area, highlight it. Using the wheel on my mouse or the up and down arrow keys, I can also select a completely different font. And then once you're happy with that, all you need to do is click once off of your image 
If you want these two to actually move around together, if I move this you'll see it's out of the way. So I'm just going to go right back here. So to move these around together you're going to draw an imaginary box around your word and your image and you're going to click on group. Once you do that you can click off of your image and wherever you move it you'll notice that the words and the shape remain together. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to delete it. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to use the pencil tool. Click once on your pencil tool and when you do that you're going to notice that over here I don't have a point size. So again I'm going to change this by clicking on this arrow pointing down and I'm going to select the 1.0. I'll go over to color and I'm just going to click in the top corner over here and click on OK. And now I can draw on this page by holding down the left mouse button and keeping it down and when I'm ready to let go I just have to let go of the left mouse button. Next I'm going to click on text and again I'm going to go over here until I see my squiggly line. Click once and then start typing. When you're finished typing all you need to do is click on select. The area is now selected and if at any time you wanted to change anything just click on edit points. You can now easily move the nodes over here into a different direction so that you have a little bit more control over how you want this to look. Once you're happy with it you can go right back to back and then you can go over here and you can change your font again or maybe you want to change your point size and then you'll notice that it goes around the pencil shape that you drew. When you're happy you can just click off of your image and then you can apply this anywhere that you want. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.